All right, YouTube, what's going on? So this is gonna be vlog number two. Um, just got back from front side, actually. So I'm back in St. George, and um, it's a good time, uh, as usual. Really good time, had fun. Did a lot of good shooting today. Uh, did pretty well shooting myself. Um, today was a day we worked on like your malfunction clearance. Um, you know, the three different types of malfunctions they teach you, and we did some shooting with um, the thoracic to the thoracic cavity plus one to the head to stop a threat if necessary so it was interesting though to, to watch my mom and my stepdad they got a little because they're like beginners and they got a little frustrated today and the malfunction clearing thing was kind of difficult for them and the class kind of moves along without you if you're not um you know up to speed so to speak they, they stick to a really strict time um limit and that's kind of a bad thing in a way because they kind of got left behind. They did have more instructors today and they did come and spend more one on one time with them. But I just noticed that, you know, kind of felt like they were getting kind of left in the dust a little bit. So, um, so another good successful time. Um, I would definitely, I mean, I can't wait to go back. I love it down there. It's fun, you know. But for, like I said, is, is front sight for a beginning shooter? I don't know. I wish they had more of a beginner's class than just the defensive handgun hand course. It would be nice to to work on some of those fundamentals of shooting and spend more time on that and less time on like the tactical reloads, the malfunction drills, which are all very important, but not necessary for a beginning shooter. So that's just kind of my, my take on it. Um, but they had fun. They enjoyed it. They learned a lot. You know, and I basically told them, take away, you know, the most important things for you you know, whether they be, you know, side alignment, um, side picture, focus hard on the front sight, um, tr you know, trapping the trigger back after you press for a surprise break, and then, you know, shooting after the reset. I mean, those are all really good things, and they'll really help you become a better shooter. So, so take those away. Don't worry so much about your after-action drills and your malfunctions and stuff, because that's all stuff that you can learn again if necessary. So... For me, it was all a big refresher, and it was fun, you know. I still had a good time, and it helped me, you know, to refresh a lot of things I already learned. So, if you're going to go down there, keep that in mind. It's not really a class for beginners, in my opinion. It's a class for um, somewhat experienced shooters. Um, you've handled a gun before, you've shot from a holster, and done some other things, you know. That's not really my parents, so. Um, if you're going to go down there, there's places to stay, obviously. They're building a hotel now. Who knows when that'll be done? But most people stay in Pahrump, which is about half an hour away from Front Sight. And there's casinos and some hotels and such, which I stayed at before. Um, but I stayed at the best place, I think. It's called the Wine Ridge RV Park and Resort. It's closer to Front Sight. It's less expensive than the casinos. And you get that little private cottage that has a kitchen. And so you can actually make your lunches and take them to Front Sight. I'd recommend doing that because the lunches there are like $12. <laughs> They're ridiculous. And it's just a, basically a box lunch. Um, so that's a good place to stay because you have a fridge, you can go to the grocery store in town, you can buy your stuff, make some sandwiches, you can eat breakfast before you go. I mean, you just save a lot of money that way. So, um, but the Wine Ridge Resort is really nice. It's got a swimming pool, hot tub. It's even got laundry as you, you know, heard my last vlog that I needed. So if you're going to go down there, that's the, that's the place I'd recommend to stay. It's less, least expensive and it's, I think the nicest, um. So yeah, I mean, overall, great experience. I do, like I said, wish they had a more beginner class. Um, if you're a brand new shooter, you may feel a little bit left behind. Now, the four-day class, maybe, maybe that's not the case. Maybe, because I know the two-day class, they try to, like, shove everything you learn in the four-day into two days, almost. Um, maybe they spend more time on the four-day. I haven't taken the four-day. I've only ever done the two days. Um, I'd like to take the four days, but just schedule-wise, hasn't worked out, but... Um, it's good training, and I think the thing to take away from it is you go down, you learn really a lot of good things. Um, some things maybe you do differently than they teach you, and that's fine. Um, you know, I mean, you can go back to your ways if necessary, but they do teach a lot of good things. So, so if you're looking to go down, um, you know, I would re I would recommend being a little bit more of an experienced shooter if you're going to go down, and. Um, Definitely don't buy things down there. They are outrageously priced. Um, so make sure you bring your own ammo, bring a holster and two mat your mag carrier, and uh, all that stuff that you need. Because buying it down there, you're gonna get bent over the coals, so to speak. 
I even get a 40% discount in the pro shop, but everything's marked up so high that it's really not much of a savings. But just, just some tips, you know, if you're looking to go down there. Um, it's a great experience. It's a really good training facility. It's top notch. They have really good instructors. It's very safe. Never felt in danger. Um, so it's definitely a great place. And it's worth, um, if you live in the Nevada, Utah, Arizona, you know, mountain southwest area, then it's definitely worth it, California. If you're farther away, you know, you may look into a facility that's closer to you. It's up to you. But all right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. I'm pretty beat. I'm going to probably hit the hay, but that's front sight vlog number two. All right. Have a good one.